council meeting for uh, October 24th. The order. Start with the pledge of allegiance. Councilman Thompson, would you lead us? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. Okay, we have started the meeting early this evening because we uh, have a couple of resolutions that uh, we'd like to take some action on uh, before the County Council has their public meeting tonight at 6.30 regarding the refinancing of uh, the bond for the 4th Street sewer project. These resolutions are information that they might like to have if they're passed tonight regarding that. So I would ask uh, that we first uh, take a look at the mi uh, minutes of the meeting from September the 28th, and I would uh, entertain a motion to uh, approve those minutes if everybody's read them. So moved. It's moved and seconded. Uh, those in favor signify by raising their right hand unanimous approval and then the special meeting of October the 19th 2017 uh, motion on those minutes some reason council Goodman uh, moved to approve those do I have a second second seconded by council and Heidi those in favor signify by raising your right hand and those are approved unanimously uh, the Board of Public Works and Safety uh, minutes are included for information now, the ordinances that uh, I was referring to that uh, is the reason we're starting at 5 o'clock. Uh, we'll skip down the list of ordinance and resolutions to the first resolution. It would be uh, resolution 11-2017, which is the repeal resolution of 033-1991 seated agreement. I would uh, ask for uh, a motion to uh, read that uh, resolution. I move to read it in its entirety. I'll second. I moved and seconded. Those in favor? It's unanimous. Councilman <coughs> Goodman, would you read that resolution, please? Resolution number 11 2017. Resolution repealing resolution 033 1991. Whereas the Rochester Common Council has determined that resolution 033-1991 passed December 30th, 1991 should be repealed. Now therefore be it resolved by the Rochester Common Council that resolution 033-1991 is hereby repealed in its entirety. Be it further resolved that the city of Rochester shall pursue and receive all funds to which the city of Rochester is entitled under Indiana Code 6-3.6 and Indiana Code 6-3.5 uh, before it's repealed. Okay. Do we have any uh, discussion? I uh, would entertain uh, calling for a, a vote on the resolution. So seconded. And moved and seconded to take a vote on the resolution. Those in favor of the resolution signify by raising your right hand. It's unanimous. Thank you. Uh, the next part of uh, <clears throat> the situation is resolution 12 2017, appeal of resolution 01 2009, the redevelopment commission for street project. Do I have a motion to read that resolution? So moved. And I guess it's been moved and seconded. Those in favor? 7-0. President uh, Goodman, if you would. Resolution number 12-2017, resolution repealing resolution 01-2009. Whereas the Rochester Common Council has determined that resolution 01-2009 adopted January 13, 2009 should be repealed. 
Now therefore be resolved by the Rochester Common Council that Resolution 01-2009 is hereby repealed in its entirety. Be it further resolved that the City of Rochester shall hereby no longer assign any economic development area within the jurisdiction of the Rochester Redevelopment Authority to the Fulton County Redevelopment Commission under Indiana Code 36-7-25-4. Any discussion resolution 12-2017? Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion that we accept resolution number 12-2017. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Those in favor signify by raising your right hand. And that is unanimous. Okay, moving right along with the, uh, the ordinances and the uh, one resolution, I would like to uh, turn the meeting over to President Goodman and excuse myself so that I can uh, prepare for the county council meeting. Do you, do you need to sign before you go? Yes. Sir. I, yeah, the book, what I did, yeah, all of the formal resolutions are listed and ordinances are all there. I just left my master copy for you guys to pass the book and sign. So, if you want to go through and go take a, Take a moment and go ahead and sign those two, two those resolutions. Two. Would you like to take a copy of those two signed resolutions with you? Yes. Okay. John, they will be the last two red ones. Last two red? Yep. Yeah. Just, just take the uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, so we just use my copy Same from here. I can use my paper. Let's say then we'll have the final. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank
they were going to be read by title. Correct. All right, moving on, um, we've got Ordinance 5-2017, um, so we're ready for the third and final reading and uh, voting. So I'll entertain a motion for the third and final reading of Resolution 5-2017. Move to read title only. Second. Moving second, all those in favor? Resolution, uh, what's resolution? Five should be, that's our budget, so it should be 2018. <laughs> Second, all those in favor, so we're raising your right hand. That's passed. Alright. Now, moving down the list, I'll entertain a motion for the third and final reading of Ordinance 6 2017. Make a motion to read by title only. Second. Alright, so moving second, all those in favor, so we're raising your right hand. Ordinance number 6-2017, an ordinance fixing the salaries for the employees of the City of Rochester, Indiana for the year 2018. I entertain a motion for the adoption of ordinance number 6-2017. So moved. Just moved and seconded. All those in favor? All right. So All right. Ordinance 7-2017, I entertain a motion for the third and final reading. So Second. Move the second, all those in favor? All right. <clears throat> Ordinance number 7 2017. <clears throat> An ordinance fixing the salaries of all elected officials of the city of Rochester, Indiana, Indiana payable for 2018 as approved by Indiana Code 36-4-7-2. <coughs> um, to entertain a motion for the adoption of Ordinance 7-2017. So moved. Second. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? All right. Now we've got a new one. Ordinance 8-2017. That's not, that's not either. We've had two readings on that. And a motion for the third and final reading of Ordinance 8 2017. Move to read by title only. Second. All right, moved and seconded. All those in favor? All right, Ordinance number 8 2017, Ordinance Vacating Public Ways, Rochester Township, Fulton County, Indiana. <clears throat> Retain a motion for the adoption of Ordinance 8 2017. So, second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Okay. We should maybe explain that for those that weren't here last month, we we had the first two readings of those ordinances and, and read them in its entirety, but didn't have a quorum to uh, do the third reading and the vote. So that's why these a little bit abbreviated discussion here because we had it last month. Okay, uh, moving on. Resolution 10-2017. Second. 
entertain a motion for a reading of resolution 10-2017. So moved. Okay. Um, that's a resolution. Okay. Um, um, let's, just, let's go ahead and read it. Unless you no, that's fine. All right, all those in favor of reading resolution 10-27 in its entirety. Resolution number 10-2017, Ordinance Amending Species of Trees to be Planted. Whereas the Rochester Common Council has determined that State Statute 97.02 of the City Code should be modified by ordinance to amend the categories of permissible trees. Now therefore be it resolved by the Rochester Common Council that Ordinance 3-2014 is hereby repealed in its entirety and State Statute 97.02 of the City Code should be and is hereby repealed and replaced with the following 97.02 tree species to be planted <clears throat> a large trees 50 feet minimum marmo freeman maple sugar maple legacy green mountain or commemoration oak burr white or red american beech sweet gum b medium trees 30 feet to 40 feet ginkgo male only american hornbeam Buckeye, C, small trees up to 30 feet, traditional service berry, metric king green hawth hawthorn, prairie fire crab apple, <laughs> Canada red flowering cherry, D, trees to avoid planting in city tree lawn, Lombardi poplar, fast growing subject to canker disease and die within 15 years. White birch, bronze birch borer, lifespan 10 years. Mountain ash, short lifespan, susceptible to disease. Sycamore, too messy. I'm not even trying that one. Elms, Dutch elm disease, pink oak, iron chlorosis. Silver maple, too weak. Willow, invasive root system, requires too much water. Pine, spruce, evergreen, obstruct view of the street, Russian olive, stem canker disease, river birch, requires too much water. Councilman Newman, there was, uh, it should actually be an ordinance. So the second line that you read is that an ordinance amending, so that should be read three times, or once in its entirety twice, by title only, before you vote. Okay. But it's titled resolution number 10 Yes, so it'll actually be, it should be ordinance number nine. Uh, to actually, it'll be 10 2017 because I already have another ordinance that will be presented to you next month. So it's ordinance 10 2017? Yes. All right. <clears throat> that being the case, I'll obtain a motion for the second reading of ordinance number 10 2017. Read by title only. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> I'll second. All right. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor? Signify by raising your right hand. Ordinance number 10 2017, ordinance amending species of trees to be planted. All right. I'll entertain a motion for the third and final reading of ordinance number 10 2017. By title only. By title only. So moved. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? All right. Ordinance number 10 2017, ordinance amending <coughs> species of trees to be planted. All right. I'll entertain a motion for the adoption of ordinance number 10 2017. So moved. I didn't know if you wanted to. I was waiting to give you the order. Honor of doing it, but. Second. Okay, you jumped it, though. Moving second, all of the neighbors. Sorry. Right hand. It's a race to the bench. Good work by the tree committee to put that together. Very good. Okay. Mr. President, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, skip to over communication. Yeah, I was going to go back to that. Is there, is there any communication? We have a packed house. Yes, there is. I had a call from. Uh, and the Mason the two uh, regarding uh, accepting volunteers for bringing the dolls to the Salvation Army. So I had that contact information. If anyone wants to get it from me after the meeting, I just give you the number and have to contact that person. But I just want to try to contact you for 
government groups, service organizations, people, you know, citizens at large too. So if anyone's interested, just let me know. More communications. <coughs> uh, moving down to new business, uh, Crystal Ballman. Ballman, hi. Ballman. <laughs> Okay, I'm here because, not anymore because we had too many dogs, because we did. And we rehomed those dogs, so now we're down to three adult dogs. But we are breeders, we're licensed dog breeders. I have all our paperwork here, our breeder number. The problem will be is if we have puppies that don't get sold, what's our allotted time to keep those dogs before it's an issue? We discussed this a few months ago, was it three months or six months? Six months. Six, six months. months. Yeah. Six months. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> well, I guess it's over with then. <laughs> <laughs> My mom is quick. I was going to say, do we, do we need anything? You need any of my paperwork, my reader numbers? I've got records, anything? Anything for us to show the weather? You might want to just put a record get a reader number. We have some well, and it might benefit us if you were to approve them being a licensed breeder within the city limits since they will and they have puppies technically have more than what this, the ordinance allows. Right. Um, so it might be beneficial to make it official to do a permit. You recognize that and maybe do a permit if you allow it. With your direction, I can structure a permit, put what we have done in the past, uh, and write it up with the specifications in there um, uh, that they could potentially have more than the ordinance a lot for the number of dogs, but it could only be for a maximum period of time of six months, and then they could hold that permit. I'll put their license, the breeder license information on there as well. We'll retain a copy here at City Hall, we'll get one uh, to cheap shots, and then they'll have a copy as well. Is there any other information that you would like in that permit documentation? No, oh, okay. kind of pre. Oh, copy on. We're a little tiny, cute. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to breed in there as well? Yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. Anything else? And how long have you been doing this? I just could ask. How long have we been doing this? Yeah. Two years. Two years. And we moved just here from Argus just in February. And we bought a house up here in Fulton. You, you sell like a lot of dogs? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so you have a business retailer's permit? Business retailer's permit? <laughs> How does that go with? I'm just, I'm, um, I'm We have, okay, so we're breeders, so every puppy has to be registered. The parents are registered, the father is champion bloodlines, so that's kind of how that goes. Um, they have to have all their shots, you know, the dogs all have to have their shots every year, and the puppies all have to be up to the other shots. And, I, I understand all that part okay. of it. I, I'm wondering about if, if you have the license, do you have to have a state permit that says that I'm running a business out of this? We haven't had to, no. We just have our doors open to APRI and AKC. They gave us some regulations. And I have not, that in here. Yeah. That we have to not, follow. They're not really, we're not concerned with them too much. I'm just wondering, is this really a business, per se? If it is a business, what type of business permits are necessary to be running a business? Okay. And if so, then where your location is, <laughs> How is your residential home zone? These are these are concerns of mine. Okay, I can see that. In, pardon me. Now that's what I'd like to do. I, if if we could just if, if you don't mind, if anybody else doesn't mind, I'd like to have just a. I got this information and just said that they on there like even now that they're telling me what's going on. I'd like to have. A, Till next our next meeting. Okay. Um, to I'd like to talk with Casey and uh, just see how this how it goes about with you know a dog because as far as I'm concerned, when somebody says dog breeder to me, then they're in a business. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's been, long time. yeah so it's if, can we? Does anybody have an objection to that? No, no, no. Objection. 
Mm -hmm. So I understand, okay, so do you want to um, like the table conversation until the next to the next meeting yes. before you actually make a decision on a permit? Correct. I'd like to stable okay. this whole conversation until the, until the next meeting. So the next meeting will be November 28th at 6 p.m. Okay. Uh, here. So just if, if you want to put that on your calendar, I'll right. put it in. motion to table. Okay. A motion to table. Okay, I'd like to make a motion to uh, table this, till the, uh, this discussion until the next meeting. Second. Moving second, all in favor? Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. You don't have a letter to debate that, do you? Yes. Can you push that back a little bit? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah, we have to see that we're ready in two weeks, and then we have her. She's pregnant. We just found out, and she's doing just about three weeks. She has four coming. We have the ultrasound and stuff, so yeah. <laughs> Do you ever intend to have more than three permanent? No. Okay. Just no. Under. No, he talked about it earlier and like that's not really a conversation we're gonna have right now because okay. that wouldn't be till way later. So no. Okay. Just correct me if I'm wrong, if they did that would take your oh, approval, correct? Yes. yes. If they yes. wanted to permanently house more than three. Right. Yes. Right. It would also require a zoning. Okay. Uh, Just check that. But that's what I want to check with KCSC and see what we have to do as far as zoning goes, and I'd like to know what the permits are being issued. And yeah. the only like conversation well. that Casey and I had was specific about the that if they if their particular residential zoning states that if they have four or more adult dogs that they would be considered a kennel and that would require special exceptions from the BZA. But we did not discuss anything further than that. Okay. Fine. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Down to uh we don't have any unfinished old business, so under the department reports. Uh, <coughs> Good evening. Month of September. Mutual aid fires, one Henry Township, one Liberty Township. Oil fire alarm, one Rochester Township. Calls for smoke, one in the city, one in Richland Township. Vehicle fires, two in Richland Township, one in Rochester Township. Accidents, two in the city, drove the ambulance, one, one time. Um, two in Rochester Township, four in Richland Township. Medical assist, 13 in the city, drove the ambulance from medical scenes three times at 11 uh, in Rochester Township, one in Richland Township. Lift assist, three in the city, gas leaks, one in the city. Service calls to the lake, one in the city. False calls, three in Rochester Township. Service calls, two in the city for a total of 51 in one drill. Pending your questions, that concludes my report. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. For the month of September, there were a total of 21 accidents. Three of those are personal injury. We issued 72 warnings, six of those were for state ordinances. 67 total offenses. 48 case reports, 692 calls for service, 42 lockouts, 7 tow vehicles, and 19 people incarcerated. And you have the crimes that those people are lost. Other than that, um, is this the first time strangulation has showed up here? No, it hasn't. <coughs> we run the game at that point. Yeah. Small town. Um, other than that, the uh, car show in Chile Coco was. The 14th, it was a great turnout. Um, had several officers down there, great crowd, no problems. Um, we've got Boo Fest coming up Tuesday, 4.30, is that right, Shada? Yes. 4.30 to 5.30, so we're blocking off downtown. Um, expect a lot of kids. And then our two new officers, they're progressing nicely. Uh, Kyle Perkins, obviously, is a, a little more ahead of Officer McIntyre just because he's got the experience. Um, he's on the road on a cover shift now, Kyle is, and um, Officer McIntyre is still in FDO. Um, a few more weeks, I think, and then we're ready. We're ready to be on zone. And that's all I have, unless you guys have any questions. With 8th Street being blocked off next week, mm -hmm. you guys go ahead and just 
no traffic or move all cars? Just no traffic. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to come in and shut everything down. The cars that are there, they'll be able to get out, but no cars will be able to come in. <coughs> so, we're, yeah, we're not going to shut the roads off early or anything. It will be standard come in about quarter after four, something like that. Uh, shut off from 9th to 5th. Um, 6th Street will be open for cross traffic east and west. And then the 100 block of each day. Questions? <clears throat> Questions for Chief? Thank Thanks. you. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. The uh, wastewater, we did our normal plant testing. We also tested the roll off the sled where we put the landfill. The plant, we mowed it. Lines Club Depot collections. We did low cage, we mowed lift stations, and we ran sewer lines on Monroe Street. Uh, the stormwater we met with Paul Lelling from Donahue about the modeling that had been done, and we went over it. Our 7th Street project, we're in the 30 day wait period, so we can run the mandrel test on the piping, and we also have to do pressure test on the pipe, and we do a vacuum test on the manholes. 4th Street, uh, down to you still working on the cost. And then our phosphorus project at the wastewater plant, uh, they pothole the areas that they're gonna be digging to put in the piping to find out what's there before they start digging and hit it. And then also they're still working on the chemical building. So everything seems to be going fine. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Derek, you want to come up and do a report form? Thank you. I got my report. John's got his. <laughs> I don't know. See what you're leaving. A lot. Good evening. Uh, for the month of September, the water department did the following duties. Red meters, orders, repair to replace bad meters, locates, backwash the filter beds, shutoffs, mowed multiple times, clean the plant, Ran the weed eater at the tower lots, the well houses, and the plant. Uh, also, we did it around some of the fire hydrants that needed it. Uh, reorganized the meter room, changed out the golf course pro shop meter from a two inch to a one inch, fixed the fire hydrant at house and decor, and then digs that were performed. We installed a new one inch water tap at 4464 Deer Run Drive, replaced a four inch valve at 1109 East <coughs> Street, that's the Manitoba Manor building, uh, replaced the fire hydrant at 16th and Madison Street. And then call outs. I was called out on the 8th at 7.30 p.m. to East 9th Street for a leak at an outside pit. Um, that problem was fixed. Rainy Carr was called out on the 12th at 7.30 p.m. to the plant for an alarm going off and the internet was not working at that time. Um, I was called out on the 14th at 5.30 to the plant for some issues with the lake tower. I was called out again on the 14th at 8.35 to the plant for the issues with the lake tower again. Those issues have been resolved. And then Randy Wynn was called out on the 23rd at 6.30 to the Lake Tower for the generator running. Power was out in the area and was restored quickly. Other than that, that's all I got. Thank you. Any questions for Derek? Thank you. 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 Thank Karen, coming for area Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, Fedco. Fedco did meet on October 12, 2017. Um, I was not present, but I do have the, the, the minutes. Uh, the Bailey building, there was a request from the county to the county for uh, $10,000 a seat it for the project. It was denied. Um, that request was brought by the, well, was that, we, we, we directed the project manager over there and that request was denied. We've already put in 25 to the redevelopment commission. Uh, Amy with the chamber worked with Duke and Nipsco and they got another 2,500 for the project. Uh, Fedco did decide to pull 10,000 out of the community investment fund to put toward as a reimbursement grant for that renovation. And the renovation they were talking about is the, the brick on the back of the building. 
it's in pretty bad shape, so they're, they're trying to get that up, all buttoned up. Um, Centennial Park was dedicated on the 14th. Uh, the city, as far as I know, the deed is transferred. It's now the city's. Is that correct, Shana? For which property? Ninth and Main. Yeah, I... Centennial Park. Yeah. Yes. Because that actually came through a while back. And we've been talking a long time about uh, Mr. Frank Boley. That project is still in the works. He's looking at a building um, out on 31 in the area uh, that's still ongoing. And the other big project is the wind project. Uh, the county is taking its time on that as so, you know, to let everyone involved that's going to be affected by that project to have a, you know, have their questions answered and, and to, you know, think about it. So it, it's also ongoing. Uh, FEDCO did appoint a wind advisory committee um, to help with those efforts. And that's pretty much it. Any questions? All right. Nice and park board. Yep. Park board met on October 9th. Through last month's minutes. Um, Lori from the pool, Lori Simpson was talking about the restroom plans that they've been working on to make those ADA compliant um, and after taking out some stalls and adding bigger ones um, and they were going to because taking out stalls based on the occupancy of the pool they're going to have to open up the outdoor bathrooms again along the uh, um, front side of the building I guess kind of by the uh, driving range. Um, Lenny reported the patch will be implored for the disc golf and they've been doing tree trimming at Manitoba Mountain. Board, after those reports, the board was discussing adding changing stations at all the bathrooms around the different parks. Um, we don't have any currently, so we're going to get some. We approved to order some for the men's and women's restrooms at each bathroom. And we had to order two more hand dryers for bathrooms that did not have those. That sums up the report. All right, thank you. Any questions for Mason? All right. Mr. Smith. Well, uh, mine is very brief because the Council on Aging meeting is next week instead of uh, yesterday, so nothing to report for Council on Aging. And I believe the BCA meeting tomorrow night is going to be canceled for lack of activity at least I have not received an agenda yet so report. solid waste and animal adoption center you have anything chase nope solid waste is tomorrow and then animal shelter was on Thursday there's much week so I didn't make that anymore there we go and then it's easy guys all right no. tree board and EMS Brian tree board met uh, first time this month on the uh, the fifth Generally up, updating on the uh, trimming that occurred, uh, finalizing list of for removal and new removal, new trimmings. Looking at the uh, budget for tree they can plant this year possibly, or be flipped up the next year. Uh, and then the tree board met again on the 19th. But I was at our special meeting and wasn't able to attend. Um, there's a report member here. I don't know if there's anything that she wants to add. She shake her head no. <laughs> no, no report at this time. <laughs> she didn't see that. Yep. <laughs> so, are there any questions? <clears throat> and the EMS board meets tomorrow morning. Next month, I'll have a report on that. Thank you, Ryan. Yes. All right. Water board. Hear it? Yes, sir. Pressure, John. Pardon me? A lot of pressure. He, left. he actually left a bone for me this time, but God. <laughs> he did. Thanks, Derek. No problem. Well, I think the only reason he did is because he was on vacation. But, uh, okay, the board approved the minutes for the September 5th uh, meeting. Update was presented by Derek to the board that everything was operating and running normal. John Query and Rex Dillinger from HWC gave presentations for the Monroe Street between East 14th and East 18th for the water main replacement. He also gave a pres presentation for the water main extension project of south of US 31 over to uh, County Road 50 East. Request was presented for Derek 
the Board of Water Department to increase the tap fees for the Water Department. To only be responsible for making one inch service tap <coughs> and anything above an inch, one inch, the customer would be responsible for the installation cost and final approval it is required after inspections by the Water Department. But prior to the completion of the job, Marvin made motions for the Water Department to increase the tap fee, the one inch tap fee, from $750 to $1,000. With a second from Keith and Carolyn, past 3-0. Marvin made a motion uh, to amend the last vote for the tap fees to be a thousand, uh, and for any road cuts to be time and material. It used to just be a straight thousand dollars for the road cut. Now they're going to do just straight time and materials. Uh, let's see. Derek uh, presented the board a copy of the Rochester uh, Water Department City spec sheet that he created and was asked for approval with the, uh, the option of adding anything that needs to be added from his day forward. Uh, Carolyn made a motion with second from Keith and a third from Marvin. And that is so that Derek can keep a little firmer hand on things and of course he reports everything very well to the water department. A request, another request was presented by Derek to the board uh, to increase the starting wage for a full-time employee from $10 to $12 an hour. Marvin made a motion to uh, approve that, second from Keith and Carolyn. Uh, and then an update was presented by Derek on the board on employees taking vacation for the month of October. That was Derek taking uh, the, uh, the vacation from uh, October 5th and returned on the 16th. Now we did have another, let's see if we can pull this up this way. We had another meeting on October 13th, which is a little short special meeting that HWC was back at. And the, present, uh, the presentation was given to the board by Rex uh, and Dick from HWC for the Monroe Street Water Main Replacement Project. Marvin made a motion to sign the contract for this project and release the steps of Phase 1, Phase 2 of the project with a second from Carolina and a third from Key. Uh, the presentation was given to the board by Rex and Dick from HWC for the Southway project. Uh, the board asked that he be brought to the November meeting for which more information. And that wraps up the two meetings we had. Uh, very interesting, and it's going to be a, a very nice thing for the the city when they, especially on the Monroe Street deal, because it's not only going to be the water, but they're also going to just going to be sidewalks and curbs, and it's going to be a little bit of a discomfort. One of the main problems that we saw for everybody was how they're going to be moving, and they're they're not going to be closing off everything at once. They're going to do like block by block for people. It's going to be a discomfort for some people for a while. But uh, you know, they're going to have new sidewalks, curbs. They're going to have good water pressure, and uh, it's it's going to be a benefit for the city and for the people living on on uh, Monroe Street. When is that work going to start? It won't be starting until probably next spring. And next spring, uh, we're just getting all the, everything rolling, and they, they you know they've got to bring the architects in, and they're going to bring the. Uh, uh, haven't made a decision yet on who's going to do the phase one. Phase one was a survey, and phase two is the yeah, design the survey. project. And, and, and I think we're still discussing on whether. Thank you, Derek. But on the survey, who's going to be actually doing right. the survey for sure, and uh, finding out what will be in there. the same way we did on the, the uh, water tower on 18th Street. Do it a phase at a time, and also that helps us with our costs. You know, that how we pay it and the bond issues that go on with the with the project. Because there are four phases, correct, Aaron? Uh, I think there might be five. I don't have it in front of me, so I don't want to vote you wrong. But it's, it's getting, the ball's rolling. And they're predicting it to be over by August. Pardon me? August. August? Okay. Yeah. All right. Any questions for John? <coughs> Thank you. Um, Sarah Reese. I, we meet actually Thursday morning, so do um, fast, we'll have the Santa event coming up. That's about all I'm aware of at this point. Okay. I don't know if it's amazing. I do something else. I'm <laughs> Any ADA concerns? Uh, not at this time. Andy, did you have anything? I think he's not had anything to do. And um, before we adjourn, and we have a lot of people in the room right here, is there anything we need, anyone wants to bring up? Um, I do have one thing for council. I'm here to ask um, Amy Banks.
from Columbia Elementary reached out to me, and I did this with them last year, but I am unable to do this this year. They're asking a council member to come in and speak to a couple of the second grade classes. Uh, just tell a little bit about uh, city council, kind of what we do, how you can remember. Uh, we wonder if anyone would be interested in or able to help them out. Or that be next week sometime. I have our contact info to set it up. They're pretty flexible with, uh, with the time. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, that's. No one has anything else. Um, Should I motion to adjourn? So, second. Those in favor? Thank you.